All right, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to be talking today about how to put a Google Calendar into your Moodle course. Now, there's a few different contexts within all that. But what I'm going to launch off with in today's session involves how to put a block in your Moodle course that shows one or more Google calendars. Let me go ahead and turn screen sharing on. And here we are. Okay, on the left side, I've got uh, Perry Carmichael's uh, CAD 2 course that he gave me permission to use as an illustration. And on the right side of my screen, you'll see my Google calendar. Um, we'll touch on that in a minute. Let me go ahead and show you what we're talking about, though. You'll see this block down here with the scrolling text, kind of fancy. But he's got a, a agenda view Google Calendar, and I'll define what agenda view uh, view is here in a sec. Anyway, you'll see the CAD Lab calendar, and this is actually a calendar that is assembled from more than one Google Calendar all into one view. And I'll show you how to do that. It's pretty straightforward. So Perry created a, an, an H, what's known as an HTML block in his Moodle course. And in that, he pasted in some HTML that Google Calendar provided. And he didn't have to know any HTML to put this in there. Google does all the work for you. I'm going to go ahead and go to the tab where I've got the Moodle Instructor Lounge, which you all should be enrolled in. I'm going to turn editing on. And I'm going to go ahead and create an HTML block in that course shell. When you've got editing turned on, you've got the add a block block. Click on the drop down and go down to HTML. And so there's the new HTML block. I'm going to go ahead and get into configure. Okay, well, that's loading up. I'm going to go to my, over to the right side of my screen now into my Google Calendar. Look at that cool, awesome camo. That's a whole other session that will have to do that. So if you look at my little list of my calendars on the left side, I want to bring in my e-learning and ed tech calendar along with two others that I sometimes, well, I usually, almost always, uh, will bring in events on the calendars for our little labs over here in Media Services. We've got two little computer labs, one that you know about and one that's a secret. And I put both of those calendars for those labs into one view, and I'll show you how to do that. So I'm hovering over the e-learning and ed tech calendar and in the little drop down to the right, I go down to calendar settings. This is a little step-by-step -step process here. If it would be more helpful, in addition to the recording uh, that I'm producing here, if it'd be more, more helpful for a step-by-step um, -step screenshot tutorial on my blog, I'd be happy to do that too, just let me know. So I'm in the settings for this calendar, and I click on the little HTML button over near where it says calendar address, click HTML little pop-up comes up and of course if I want to link directly to this calendar as a uh, make it make it display as a web page I could copy this long link and paste it somewhere which that's one way of doing it but I want a little little faster than that and I also want to I want to embed more than one calendar remember I mentioned those three calendars uh, into the block over in my Moodle course so I'm going to click the configuration tool right there and I get into this view, and here is the default view of what it's assuming that I'm going to want. So I want to keep it simple in the Moodle course. Let me just get a quick glimpse again of Perry's. He's got a simple layout in here. I'm going to try to replicate that as much as I can. I'm going to go back to my lounge here. Okay. So I mentioned a minute ago that agenda view is, and this is the next few options here, I should say, are like my recommendations to start with. So if I look at agenda view, I think that for the purposes of this uh, Moodle block, it might serve a better purpose. If I start taking some of these options up here away, I'll keep the title on there. I might want to change that though. Let me see if I delete all these guys here. And maybe I might make this, maybe I'll just call this, um, and again, these e-learning events, there's that, that's one calendar I have in my, in my Google calendar, but I've also got those two other labs. I'll bring those here in a second, but everything relates to e-learning events, maybe, maybe more accurately, even e-learning and ed tech events. There we go. 
So down here in this little list on the lower left, the calendars to display, I've got that little uh, media zone lab right there. Boom, put that check. And I've got our secret e-lab that no one knows about because it's a secret right there. And that'll pull in the events off of the e-learning slash ed tech events calendar, as well as the media zone lab calendar and the e-lab calendar all into one view. And again, I'm in agenda view. Let's just compare again back over to the month and the weekly views. So you might agree that agenda might work best for the context of this Moodle course. I'm going to make the width, because this is a little block in Moodle. It's not, it's not a, a full web page. It's just a little block that appears on the left-hand side. I'm going to try 200 pixels wide. And I also don't want it to be very long, so maybe about 300 pixels long. It's just about block size. Let me look at my notes real fast here. That's what I'm, what I'm starting off with at least. Maybe four. Let's see. You might kind of need to dabble. You might even need to, when you, when you start pasting the HTML in into your Moodle course, it might take you a few times to get it just the way you want it. But 200 by about three or 400 in height uh, might be about where you're at. What, is, what does 350 give us? Let's see what that looks like. Happy medium. We'll try that at first. Okay. So up here where it says copy and paste the HTML below, blah, blah, blah. I select all that and I can right click and copy or I can control C or command C. And over back into my Moodle uh, browser tab over on the left side, um, before I paste into here, I don't do that quite yet. Always, if you've got HTML in your computer memory that you're going to paste in, you want to click these little double brackets. Think of the double brackets as being putting that text box into HTML input mode. And now I can paste. So I'm going to go ahead and just real quick save changes and get a quick glimpse of how it looks. And it should appear on the left side, I believe. I'm going to move it to the right here in a minute. No, yeah, that's how it comes in. Okay, okay. I can scroll up and down. Looks pretty good. I, before I forget, I don't want to forget to remind you, every time you see a Google Calendar, whether it's, it doesn't matter what view, it's an agenda or month or a weekly view, whatever, Every time you see this little plus Google Calendar button, you can easily subscri subscribe to that calendar so that you see the events in this calendar in the context of events on your own Google Calendar. And so this is useful enough for you, but think of your students who might keep their own personal calendar of classes, other classes they're taking here at LBCC or, or personal stuff like go shopping tonight for the party tomorrow night, et cetera. So to be able to see their, their own personal study calendar, their own personal uh, lifestyle calendar mixed in with events happening, uh, due dates for assignments and quizzes and stuff we're talking about within your Moodle course to see everything in, in context in one calendar. All they've got to do is click this plus Google Calendar button. And if they're logged into their LBCC Gmail or any Gmail, it will ask, if, it'll just verify, do you want to subscribe to this calendar? And once they do that, they'll be able to see all their work and study and personal calendars all merged together in one view so they can plan accordingly. Okay, so I'm liking how this is looking already, this uh, 200 by about three to 400, I have 350, remember, in height um, in the settings. That looks about right. I'm going to click that little gear up there again and configure this block because I want it to go over to the right side. I can click this where this block appears and this on this page here. I think this is all I'm going to need to do. We'll double check it though. I want it on the right region and I want it near the top. Maybe, and this is one of those you might have to fudge a little bit and, and go back and forth to get your block to appear right where you want it. And I'll save changes. We'll see how this looks. Looks about right to me. 
Yeah. Okay, let's compare that to Perry's. Let's look at them side by side. Tear this off here. There's Perry's with that fancy pants scrolling text. There's mine over here without that. Yeah, that should do. What do you think? So that covers what I was going to talk about today. Once again, let me show you once again how to get to this the calendar page, and the the page in your in your Google Calendar to get to that configuration tool. Again, I went to the specific calendar that I'm looking for into the calendar settings, and next to calendar address, that little HTML button, and back to that configuration tool. Okay, so a couple of things before I close out today, a couple of things that I want to offer up for follow-up sessions, uh, follow up, following up on this one. I've got a nice workflow where you can, you know how you, you add an individual calendar event into your Google Calendar one after another, after another, how, how that's pretty straightforward. But what if you have a whole bunch of events maybe that you have, let, let, let's just imagine all of you want all of your Moodle course quiz due dates and or your assignment dates, you can plop those into an Excel spreadsheet or a Google spreadsheet. And I can, if you'd like, I can show you an easy way to collect all those up in a spreadsheet that you can then eventually upload into Google Calendar. And then all in one fell swoop, there's all of your, all of your events on the specific dates and times and locations. Um, and expanding that concept out even further, Another session might be where you can export your Moodle calendar, which would be populated by virtue of indicating due dates again for those assignments and those quizzes and those other activities in your Moodle course that would populate your Moodle course calendar. You'll be able to uh, uh, download, I can show you if you like, download your Moodle calendar and import that into a Google calendar all in one fell swoop. So there's there's two potential follow-ups to this session, if you like. I think that covers it for today. Any any other questions, of course, you can either respond to the email uh, that I'm going to send this link out to. Um, any feedback, of course, is appreciated. Also, I want to make sure I'm trying to hit uh, availability for you as much as possible. So if there's a better date and time of the week that would typically work better for you, uh, let me know. I've gotten way more participation on these Tech Talk webinars um, in the recordings compared to the live sessions, which is telling me most people, again, our, our schedules are all over the board as far as being able to meet at the same time. But if there's a specific time that might work better for you, if you'd like to attend these live sessions, uh, please let me know. Um, any other questions, again, uh, you know how to get a hold of me. Uh, thanks for joining me on this one. I look forward to hearing your comments on this session. And if you like the other ideas for the follow-ups on this Google Calendar stuff, let me know. Uh, thanks. I'll see you next time.